Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed WordPress menus in Oxygen. So in Oxygen, of course, you could just add a bunch of links and style them to create a menu. But Oxygen also has a menu element which will embed a WordPress menu, the type that you create from the Appearance Menus screen of your WordPress admin panel. So if you haven't seen this screen before, this is the default WordPress menu management screen. From here, you can choose existing menus to edit, or you can create a new menu, and then you can add items to your menu and drag them around to reorder them, drag them left and right to nest them. Oxygen supports uh, nested and even sub-nested dropdowns, many levels deep as you want. Uh, so that's how to create a menu. When you're done, you hit Save Menu, and then you can use this menu in Oxygen, and Oxygen will output all of these links with dropdowns and give you some nice styling options. So let's go over to Oxygen, and I have a header row here. And let's go ahead and add in a menu. And let's drag that over to the right. And in this video, I'll just go over the various options you have for the menu element. So this is the menu element. You could lay it out vertically um, or horizontally. Let's actually load up our main menu here. And when you choose your menu that you want to display here, and then you have styles for the text, for example, the link color, Let's go with, I don't know, let's go with a nice blue. Let's go with purple, actually. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to copy this because we're going to use this color later as well. Let's change the font size to say, I don't know, we could change it 15 pixels. You can change a font family. Um, letter spacing, text alignment, which doesn't matter now, but it could if the menu is stacked vertically, uh, text transform, if you want them to be all caps, all lowercase, underline, if you want that by default, uh, font smoothing. So you get your various text properties in the text tab. So that's pretty straightforward. Then we have spacing. This controls the spacing between the menu links. So we have the padding. That's the space around the uh, text. And then we have margin, that's actually like the space around the link itself. So as you can see, when I'm mousing over the margin, I can't actually click the link, but mousing over the link itself or the padded area, I can click. Let's go ahead and set uh, just 25 pixels of padding just for this example. Uh, then we have hover and active states. So we can change the text color uh, of the menu link on hover. Let's make it, it's purple, but let's just make it a little bit lighter purple. So when you mouse over the menu link, color changes. You can also choose a hover background color, for example. Maybe you want something like that. But I don't in this example. You can choose a hover border color, or sorry, a hover border as well. This will just use your text color. So here we got a three pixel border on the top. Also add a border on the bottom, kind of a nice effect. Let's go with three pixels, hover border top. Then you can set the active text color. So what is active? Active is the page you're actually viewing. So let's say you were viewing the product tour page, for example. If you set the active text color to blue, when you're viewing the product tour page, this link would actually be blue, it wouldn't be purple. So I'm not gonna show that now because it won't show up in Oxygen, it'll only show up when we're actually on that page. You can customize the active background color and active borders as well. Same as the hover styles, just for the currently viewed page. So that's hover and active. Uh, then we have drop down styles. So you mouse over a, uh, a link that has drop downs. For example, here we have design library. It's got these sub pages, sub menu items. They will show up in this drop down, which appears on mouse over. So you can custom, you can, uh, Disable dropdowns if you want. They're enabled by default. Now we got no dropdowns or enable enable dropdowns and we have dropdowns. You can choose whether or not to show the dropdown arrows. I think it's a good practice to do so. And then white doesn't really work as a dropdown color here. So if we set a hover color, let's say we set a hover background color, that will automatically be used for the dropdown. That looks pretty good. But we could also just set the color for the dropdown itself the background color over here. If we want, we can make dropdowns black. 
We can customize the drop-down link color. We can make drop-down links white. We can customize uh, the link hover color as well. Change color on hover. We can even change the padding around the drop-down links. We were using 25 pixels on all sides before, but maybe we don't want it to be as tall, so we'd like to use something like 10 pixels of padding there. We even want 10 pixels on the left and right. So as you can see, you got a lot of customization options for the drop-down aspects as well. And if there were any sub-drop-downs, then that those would show them. Um, here, let's make let's make a little quick example here. Um, let's add in product tours as sub drop down, just as an example. And let's see, I might have to refresh. I might be able to just change the menu and make it work. Yet have to save and oh, did I make that a drop down too? Yeah. Oops. Save menu. And you can see near here now we actually have nested sub drop downs as well. We don't actually want that, so let's go ahead and change that back. Save the menu back to oxygen. Swap the menu to reload. Oh yeah, that covers um, all the main options. Now for responsive. So by default in oxygen, menus are responsive once you go less than page container. You just get this responsive icon here and click it and menu shows up responsive style. Here's how that would look on a smaller screen. Just like that. So that's great by default, but let's say you want to customize it. You can go to, uh, you can choose when it becomes a toggle. So you can say we can display the toggle only below 768. Now we can go 1120, no toggle, 992, no toggle. Looks like we should have the toggle at 992. So let's just set that to 992. No toggle here, no toggle here, toggle here. And then you can customize your icon styles. Let's say we want our icon to be black. You can do that. Change the size of the icon. Change the amount of space around the icon. You can add padding around the icon. For example, we make the icon white, padding around the icon black, padding 20 pixels. And then we got a responsive icon like that. Uh, and then you can also customize the menu styles. So once the menu is open, maybe we just want to make it black, white text. We go like that. And then we customize the padding around the links because maybe we don't want so much on mobile, like that. And by default, drop-down menus will not show in responsive, but if you want to enable that, you can include the links. They won't actually be drop-downs. They'll just show up below the, uh, the main item itself. So those are the options for menus in Oxygen. So as you can see, it's very easy to create and customize a responsive menu by just using this one menu component. You can get it looking pretty much uh, however you want. So let's go ahead and then make a footer menu. So... So our header, let's go ahead and add a section to it. This will just be our page. We might have some text on our page. Use a different background color here. And then let's add another, and let's just make this taller so we can really see what's going on. And then this right here will be our footer. So typically for a footer, maybe you have some columns. You have uh, four columns maybe. Your logo over here, and then maybe you have a couple different menus. So let's go ahead and add in another menu component. And this is going to display our footer menu, the footer menu, which we created on the same appearance menus page. And we want to display this vertically. So that's how that looks. And then we could just customize the text. Let's go ahead and copy that same text color. And let's say for spacing, we want maybe 10 pixels a margin below each link. So it's going to look like that. Okay, that looks fine. And for footer menus, we don't want it to be responsive, right? We, we don't want to toggle in our footer. We just want to display this list of links vertically. So we would just go uh, mobile responsive, mobile menu, never. And then the header menu is responsive, but the footer menu just stacks vertically, no toggle. 
Okay, that's how simple it is to create header and footer menus in Oxygen using the menu component. If you have any questions, please let us know, post in the comments, and we'd be happy to help. Okay, this is Lewis from SoFly, and thank you very much for watching.